The Wax Air Cutter is a pretty specialized tool as far as cutting pipe. It can cut and bevel at the same time, and by the end of the cut, you're left with a machined edge, which is a lot nicer to weld, makes it a lot faster, a lot less labor intensive as far as prepping the end of the pipe to be welded. The machine has a hard bit blade that will take off a couple thousands of material every time it passes around. Following behind it on the exact opposite end of the pipe is the beveling blade if you need a beveled edge. And it does the same thing and creates a chamfer around each edge. So in total, the cut can take up to about an hour and a half and it can seem like a lot of setup time, but the cut itself only takes about 20 minutes on the standard wall, 48 inch pipe behind me. It would be a lot faster to cut it with either a plasma torch or a oxyacetylene torch, uh, which is something we do on a nearly daily basis. However, for this large of a scale, if you're an eighth of an inch different from top to bottom, that can make a huge difference down the line for the pipe. So accuracy really counts whenever it comes to getting this right the first time. A weld like this could take an entire day. So it's really important to make sure that the weld and the welder are set up as best as possible. One of the methods for welding this large of pipe in order to be able to cut down time, we call it brother-in-law welding, where actually the two welders both start at the bottom and will work up the sides simultaneously. So that way two welders are doing one weld, one very large weld to be able to get it done faster. The only disadvantage I can really think of when using this machine is it does require some space around it. A person can fit in some tighter spots, but it'll definitely help and the other disadvantage being that it is pretty heavy. For the 48 inch pipe you're looking at, the machine in total being about 300 pounds, and that can be a lot to manage on scaffolding or in close quarters. It's not as exciting as sparks flying everywhere, but it's way more accurate. It's gonna cut down the labor costs as far as the time it takes to fit things up. So that means more pipe installed accurately and welded every day. If you like the videos that you see and you want to see more from William T. Spader's upcoming projects and the projects that we have going on, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.